hello friends so we have finished creating our assembly so now it's time for the best part and in this video we will be learning how to render the component or assembly which you have just made believe me guys it's gonna be awesome and what actually rendering is is that uh, through rendering you can convert your 3d component or the 3d assembly which you have just created into a 2d image so so that you will be able to see what your image would look like in in the real life so we will just start by by giving colors to the different components and then we will render it so go and click on this appearance scenes and decals pane and click on the appearance and then under the plastic i will give it some color maybe maybe black i guess i will drag the black color and drop it here and click here and now for these components i will, I will give it some like maybe yellow uh, yeah yellow should work and now we have give it some, we I just given it colors so now we are ready to render it so click on the view setting button here and click on the perspective so now you have turned on the perspective in the works and I think you know what perspective is so I did not mention that so let's just begin so now let's just render our, render this component under the office products tab click on the photo 360 and then you will see photo 360 menu here and click on options so now here are different options which you which you can change uh, these are actually options for the final image which will be created so i will leave them as they are by default and I will click on final render sometimes it, it takes very long to complete a render so maybe a big part could take hours also I remember once I created an assembly which took around 3-4 to four hours to just render one so it is, as it is a small component so it is running very quick and it's done so now you can see that it's, pretty, it's look, looking pretty cool now yeah so, so similarly you can set different views and you can have a rendered image of your component in different views so I, I hope you like it I like it very much so now by clicking the save image button here you can save the rendered image in your computer you give it name and set the directory in which you want to save it and hit save so I guess enough for this tutorial uh, save in the next series thank you